So we had the SID Display Week here at Radiant, and who are you? I'm James Wheeler. So what are you showing here? Sure, this is our two camera system for uh, okay. essentially measuring um, OLED devices, right? So um, we have two cameras because the resolution um, of these devices is just so high that we're gonna need two of our uh, highest uh, resolution uh, photometers to measure this. But essentially we measure one half of the display with each camera and then we stitch the, those two images together. It's very high megapixel or? That's right, these both are uh, 29 megapixel each. And then uh, uh, what's special about those machines right here that you have? So essentially they're just super high accuracy uh, imaging photometers. So very low noise, uh, so you got a great um, you know, signal noise ratio, uh, high dynamic range. What's a photometer compared to like a camera or something? So essentially just a photometer means it's, you know, you can only get uh, brightness information out of it. You can't essentially see what type of color it is. For, for color, you'd want to use uh, an I-series, but for the specific application, it has to be the, the Y-series. Are you checking if the, the AMOLED display is in uniform uh, intensity of brightness? Exactly. So typically for monochromatic LEDs that they, that's used in the sub-pixels, um, due to the manufacturing process, it's, it's very hard to achieve uh, consistent, you know, brightness output for each um, individual subpixel. So what we can do is we can step through with our software, we can measure each half of the display, and we can have a sequence built up here where we can measure the brightness at each um, varying gray level for each color, and then from that information with our algorithms, um, we're able to create correction factors that we could push to a, a, a manufacturer's display and then they could essentially level out the display so it looks very uniform to the so eye. So how do they level out, this is OLED, right? That's right. The AMOLED smartphone market. Mm -hmm. So how do you improve their displays? Sure. Is that what you do? Exactly. So using this kind of system, what we would do is create those, uh, calculate those correction factors and then we would push that to their display. So however you know, way they have it set up to where they could handle the data that we would give them, they could use those correction factors to then scale each uh, individual sub-pixel by the appropriate amount, such that to the eye it looks very uniform. Would they have a machine like this in the factory, or you have this in your headquarters and you just uh, remotely help them? Uh, no, so it'd be in their factory. That'd be a, uh, a total, complete turnkey solution we provide to the Do customer. Do they have to check every single phone, or no? It's uh, just once it, in a while? Like what for every batch of uh, sure, displays? Sure, I mean it all or? depends on the customer's needs, but um, typically that would be something they'd want to do. Um, ideally, is to, to check everyone at that uh, along that process. Nice, and uh, let's walk over here. Uh, there's a I thought it was there's her a boss. cool machine around here. I thought it was her. I don't want to uh, what's going on with this machine right here? Sure. So this is part of our new advanced vision um, technology that we got yeah. right now. So essentially, this is just simulating a, a product assembly line. And so what we're able to do is, you know, as it's continuously moving, we're still able to capture images really quickly. And then from of over the PCB and everything inside? That's right. Yeah. So this is kind of the stage where it's you know, being assembled still. Is this real production product? Like it's out there? That's, yeah, that's right. So, um, so as you can see from these images, as they go through, we take an image and then you're able to detect the presence or uh, you know, non-presence, I guess, of certain components, like if they're missing or uh, if they're not in the right position, that kind of thing. So we can automatically detect all these things, like different tables. Kind of AI, an algorithm? That's right, we have advanced algorithms used to, to kind of detect each of these components. And with this new platform, you're able to kind of drop in uh, different types of, you know, find certain shapes or find a barcode, um, that kind of thing. Nice. Yeah. So uh, that's your slogan, see the difference. Is a lot about vision, uh, measuring stuff? Touch all kinds of applications, um, including, take the shroud off, that's just for the harsh lighting. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're really trying to branch out to all kinds of different markets. Uh, historically, we've been more into the, you know, the typical flat panel display inspection, uh, measuring the brightness and color of those. But you know, recently with all this new emerging technology uh, for things like augmented reality and virtual reality, we're really trying to, you know, create new optics, for instance. So this is our own um, in-house design for a for a, a lens. A lens, that's right. That actually simulates the the uh, human eye. So you know, we have an entrance pupil, the lens that's right at the end of the uh, the lens, rather than typically in the in the back, as is normal for regular lenses. But this allows you to get it right in the goggles, so it, it simulates just like an eye would see. And so it, you can actually see a a field of view out to. 
um, and then you, know, you can uh, analyze the uh, performance of these VR headsets. That's right. So, so we can actually analyze the performance in a fully assembled, uh, complete product rather than you know, um, you know, analyzing that at a just you know at the lens level, you know, kind of disassembled. What is this one? So this one is kind of similar to the. Um, the OLED DMR solution, the two camera solution we just talked about. Uh, specifically, then we're showcasing, um, you know, this new emerging technology, which is the micro LED. Very similar to OLED devices, except, um, you know, they can essentially very tiny LEDs and on a very flexible, uh, thin film that are used for backlighting for all kinds of different devices. So you are ready for the micro LED market? That's right. Micro That's right. LED. Yes. And if we walk around a little bit more over here. Um, so these are this this one is a uh, testing tablets. Yeah. So unfortunately, right now they're we're having an issue with the motor to control this turntable. But the whole point of this demo uh, essentially is just to showcase that um, we're leaders in kind of you know the whole production process. So we can uh, integrate with a uh, customer's fixtures for like the uh, you know the production line. So we can con you know uh, communicate with the fixture to. You know, control things such as automatic loading and unloading of the DUTs, the, the displays under test, and then you know, based on that, we can automatically trigger you know, image acquisition and then running the, the special analyses that they want to run for for qualifying these types of devices for tablet kind of devices. Yeah, exactly. It could be it could be really anything. And this is just kind of highlighting the fact that we're you know we're well versed in uh, integrating with these special fixtures. So how much is uh, how much does it cost one of those cameras? Uh, or they're not cameras, right? But what? Yeah, they're cameras. The cameras. Yeah. CCG much? based. Um, is there a secret? That'd probably be a question for a sales guy, but uh, okay. yeah, there. It's something that factories buy. That's right. Yeah. It's not for like uh, reviewers of consumer electronics. Could they be using that to kind of like uh, have numbers on their reviews that says this is a better phone than that one because it has better display? Uh, yeah. No. That this is that definitely be... this is like a scientific grade camera, so it'd, it'd be kind of too out, too expensive for the the, the normal the um, normal people. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Let's go over here. Uh, this this uh, this is for the HUD. So for this one, um, so for this one, we're measuring the uh, an aftermarket head uh, heads up display that you can um, uh, you know fix right on top of your dashboard, and then um, so it has a projected image out a few feet that we can we're able to actually uh, capture that image and then run special analyses on that as well. Right. Yeah, so for instance, you can kind of see too, we have an image right now of the speedometer that it projects out. Um, we're able to capture that and, um, you know, we can, we can automatically detect each part of that uh, image and run, uh, sp you know, specific analyses on that. Nice, and uh, here you have the sparkle. So this is another automotive related uh, kind of setup here where, um, based on these anti-glare and anti-reflective coatings that get placed over automotive displays, um, that really helps to cut out the glare and things, but it, it causes this, it might be kind of hard to see, but it causes a kind of modeled, uh, they call it, we're calling it like a sparkly effect on, uh, you know, on the, on the, the front of the panel. So we're able to capture images of these and then run our tests to essentially characterize the amount of sparkle that's apparent to the human eye and then rank these so we can, you know, we really essentially matching up to a human visual inspector to, you know, Characterize which which DUT is better. Yeah. Uh, where are you based? The headquarters. So we're based in Redmond, Washington. And uh, does the whole display industry? Everybody uses uh, Radiant. Uh, pretty much for the world leaders in display inspection. Yeah. World leader. Yeah. There's even there's another one here. That's right. This is a big one. Yeah. So this is another one of our brand new uh, optics here. So we have a um, uh, sorry flat, flat panel display conoscope lens. So it's essentially you know uh, able to in one measurement. Uh, capture the, the light emission at all angles up to plus or minus 70 degrees. So rather than traditionally requiring the device to be mounted to a goniometer where we could rotate the display, you know, up to 360 degrees um, and then, you know, capture the output at all those angles, that, that can be, you know, very um, time consuming. So this is able to do it in one shot, at least up to plus or minus 70 degrees. It's a special new lens de design. Right. Just for this application. That's right. It's very high right. So. And what's next? Because uh -huh. uh, what's the biggest challenge right now? 
So, I mean, this is kind of it. It's just trying to meet the demand of our customers. I mean, there's so much new emerging technology like augmented reality. Micro LED. Uh, exactly. All the new automotive is really um, kind of exploding with new stuff like the instrument clusters. Uh, flexible heads up displays. displays. That's right, flexible ones. Are you going to be measuring those? Uh, that, I guess, remains to be seen. So we're yeah. still kind of exploring all the Because there's so many things, like the crease, the, the flex, the exactly. performance of those plastic based displays that are kind of hang out. Sure. There's so much you could be doing, I guess, with the factory automation, right, stuff. That's right. And that is kind of the biggest challenge, I guess, is trying to respond to the market changes and, and, and being there first with uh, the leading technology that we can offer. So you have an R&D? Yeah, R&D. That's right. R &D, are you, what do you do? So I'm typically more responsible for the software. So for you know, kind of that turntable thing, I'd be more responsible for helping create a, essentially a custom solution for a customer where they have very specific needs on the fixturing. They need something specific to happen when, you know, how they want to control the camera, special results they want, might want to get out of that. So I'm kind of involved in that process. And uh, your company is uh, involved in Asia and everywhere. That's right, yeah, all over the world. But, you know, a lot of, lot of market share in, uh, in Asia, so.